Good morning, tubers. On our, well, not quite our final Lincoln video. We got, we got two more to go. Um, up next will be trailing arm bushings and steering box. But for now, we need to finish up our trailer install. This one's been in here for a few days now. <clears throat> Has not been used yet. And I have some stuff to install. We've got a seven blade we're gonna be installing. Um, these are just some license plate trims I'm gonna put on here in a little bit. Um, this I'm hoping I can, I wanna put my license plate up a little bit higher. You know, get it out of the way of the hitch. Um, and then, yeah. I'm just gonna fix that up a little bit better. Um, so there's that. Got a seven blade adapter for this car. I have one for my truck. Um, and then we got some towing wire. Uh, so this, we gotta figure out our wiring here. Um, let's see. What does that go to? Is that the license plate? That must be for the license plate. Okay, so we have our main harness right here, which comes along, do 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 do, right along here, and then uh, swings over to the other side there. So this shouldn't be too bad. We can terminate everything right here. We're gonna have to open up this harness a little bit. Um, there are some shenanigans I had going on over here. I was trying to put uh, resistors in for LED lights, but I don't know. I realized what I was doing wrong, but it's, it's not happening. They're not going in there. Yeah, I think that's a running light wire, that brown wire. Yeah, that's going to the license plate down here. So what I need to figure out, and we can probably back probe these light connectors. And we could probably even do this to take some strain off the wiring harness. Yeah, we can back probe this, find out which one's our turn signal. On this car, turn signal and brake are on the same circuit. And then brown is the running light. Um, so we could, um, I'm almost wondering if I should run that on a relay. Conveniently, I have a battery back here. So I could, I could do that. Um, but on the other hand, my trailers are gonna be using LED um, wiring, or LED wiring, oh my God, Jimmy, LED lights. So I don't want to pull too much current on there. Okay, so it looks like really all we need. So that green with the, what is it, tan stripe? It's gonna be our brake and turn signal. And then your brown is your running light. And this should be fairly straightforward on this side. Yeah, and then that's gonna be the turn signal and brake, and then that's your right now. So we just need to find those wires and just splice them in. Um, there's also a um, little thing that you can get that, um, you know, you wire all your inputs into it, but the inputs just control the relays inside this little box, or converter, whatever you wanna call it, and then everything else runs to your battery. Um, in this case, I have one right there. And while also wiring the seven blade in, I'm going to be adding the power circuit into this one. Uh, yeah. Left turn, right turn, That'll, this will be easy. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up, take a look at stuff. I also need to figure out where I wanna mount that seven blade. You know, let me get that out of the package real quick. All right, Tubes, I figured out where I want to put the seven blade. Um, and I'm, first, I'm going to show you 
Got to set this up so you can see what I'm seeing. So I bought this little bracket guy here to re kind of relocate the license plate. And the way this works out, I actually don't even have to make any new holes. <clears throat> so you got this little guy, cheapy little guy, it's like 10 bucks. Still uses the license plate holes, but you can move it up and down. But I'm actually right where I need to be. And it moves my license plate up where I want it so it's basically flush with that and then what I want to do is I want to put my 7 blade I'm going to mount it right to the bumper right here and it's uh, level with the trailer hitch so it's fairly out of the way um, I could also mount it back here where it's a little more out of the way um, but I mean either way it's I can mount it here, it tucks it up a little bit higher, but I can't get the thing open all the way. If I put it here, it's easy access, easy to get to. So I think that's where that's gonna go. Um, for right now, let's get this license plate guy up in here. A way to put the, I guess, I don't know, I could put the license plate. Let's see if these screws are any bigger. inserts on the license plate thing. We're getting a little stripped out, but oh, this is going to go in nice and tight. Sweet. Well, I don't like to waste stuff, so there's nothing back here in the bumper. There is a wiring harness running along here, and I think it's just for this, so I'm just going to drill right in the middle. There's nothing there. Um, and then we're just going to put a screw in there. Not going to be the best fit. I figure we get this part out of the way here, and then, uh, and then we'll do our wiring, which on, honestly is not going to take that long. It's just uh, we've got a route a. We can sneak the harness up through here. But we need to make a new hole for our harness. So let's get this old rusty, crusty screw back in here. I'm just going to run her in like that, just go kind of snug and leave it. There, like that. That kind of hides the cut job in there. This is kind of meh, but I could always dress it up if need be. Now somebody probably missed the last video, but they're gonna be like, why the hell are you doing this to this car? You're so dumb, and I hate you and I hope you die. Well, I am doing this because this is going to be used to haul um, the engine block for my 4BT when I go to rebuild it next spring. Um, so I need the trailer hitch to be able to hook up to my trailer so I can put the engine and the thing, or else um, I'm just not going to be able to haul my engine off and have it rebuilt, or to have the block machine. Because <laughs> I'm rebuilding it myself. Um, so, anyways, I need to be able to tow with this town car. And also for the haters out there. <laughs> Let's see, Adam had this car for a little bit. He paid $600 for it. And then um, I got it traded him the Explorer and uh, that's pretty much it let's put some money into it fix it up but I also like to kind of make it my car what I 
I'm gonna get more screws and put them in the bottom, have it nice and scook them. But that's pretty, that's pretty good. And we're now clear of the hitch. Look at that, no problem. Before, the plate would hit right over here and then you'd have to bend it back and then get it in there. I'm probably gonna have to, ball's gonna go here. That's pretty close. All right, dude. so this is where I settled on putting my uh, bracket. It's a little close to the hitch, but everything's gonna be up here in the middle. So I'm not too worried about it. I think we'll be able to fit it. It's pretty easy to relocate it if I have to. Um, but this was easier. Just ran some self tappers in there and that'll be fine. So I'm gonna spend some time wiring this up, but uh, in case you're wondering, AX is auxiliary. So this is actually gonna be a power wire. Yeah, right turn, electric brake. I'm gonna run a lead to this because I probably am gonna put a brake controller in this too. This is your ground your light or left turn uh, signal and then TM you know I forgot what TM was what was that TM oh tail light so this will be basically your running light so when you turn your you know, your lights on your tail light comes on so that'll be tail light the center one was for the backup light so that I'm gonna have a lead for that too because I'm gonna put backup lights in the trailer <laughs> So anyways, I'm gonna work on some wiring and I'm gonna show you where I end up running my harness and all that stuff. So. All right guys, check this out. She's fully utilized. Auxiliary, this is gonna go to, this is power coming from the car. We got a right turn, electric trailer brake, so I got a, a lead just that for that. Got our ground, left turn signal, and our tail light. And then the center post is a backup light, so this orange will go to the reverse light signal. And then on the trailer, I'm gonna add some LED lights in the back, and so when you put the car in reverse, or the truck, the truck's gonna get updated. It doesn't have some of these, so we're gonna put add that in there. So, when you put the car in reverse, the trailer is going to light up everything. Because I'm putting light bars on the trailer, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna continue getting this set up. The other thing is I realize I might have to relocate where I have this located because the safety chains are probably going to destroy it. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut some more of this black plastic over here and move it over and it should be good to go. Yeah. Hey Adam, it's your favorite butyl tape. Not my favorite, it can go to hell. <laughs> Come on, the wiring sticky hell that it is. <laughs> it ain't going to be beautiful after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tubes. You're like, you guys would understand. I thought we were going to have to drill a hole, but um, uh, I was wrong. So, above where the license plate harness goes in, this is what this is for. It's for the license plate um, lighting. Right there is this big old uh, hole with basically butyl tape in there. And uh, the center just pops up and you can run your harness. And it's actually the, just the right size hole for this conduit. So um, that's that. And I'll show you what I got going on right here. <sighs> Pretty much just runs through here and then goes up in there. And you're done. <laughs> so now I'm gonna wire all that in. He's doing some maniacal Honda stuff. Anyways, tubes, I'm going to work on getting this wired up. I'm gonna trim this down just a little bit. I don't, don't need a whole lot. I've got two extra wires in there. Actually, should be three. Yellow was my, what was that? I think that was a trailer brake. Uh, red was power, and then that orange with white was backup. So that's uh, my uh, reminder in this video what the hell that is. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, yeah. I right. Remember. Time to break out the voltmeter. All right, tubes. I just verified to make sure my lighting works, and this little adapter here is also a test to make sure your circuits work and all their work. They're working correctly. Um, here's what I got for my harness so far. It's all kind of put back to normal. Um, what I'm doing now is, well, I've already hooked up this wire here going to the plug down there. Um, is for the backup lights 
and that is wired into one of the backup wires, which is actually this one right here. Your, uh, I think that's black with pink or violet, whatever you want to call it. And then this one is going to hook into that red wire that goes to the auxiliary, that's power. And that is going to run along here. I'm actually going to loom it inside this harness here. And then it's going to come along behind the carpeting. And I got some more loom, I'm going to run that through so it's not rubbing on the body. And I'll come right along, sneak over, and it's going to plug into my battery. Uh, back here or either I'll put a ring terminal there for it or I can jam it into my connection there. I actually need to do something different with that. I'll do a different fuse um, setup. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to be power and that battery gets connected to the car when it's running. So that gets charged and then we'll have you know power back here to the trailer and whatnot. So yeah. This is fun. I'm having so much fun with this right now. Are you having fun too? No, they're not dealing with that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Had this laying around. Drilled a little hole for it, got her installed. I'm gonna, I have to undo it and move the wires around because they're stuck on the crash bar. Once I get that freed up, then I can run the wires down and hook it to that cable. That RC cable will eventually get run to the stereo. That'll be, a. I don't know if I'll get to that today. But that's what's happening. I got a backup camera. Um, this one, the last I knew about it, it did work. Um, so uh, if it doesn't work, I can just get another one and swap it out. So yeah, that's what's going on. I still might have to move this over to like here, maybe cut a little chunk out and move it there. Um, you know, that's no big deal. Like, that'll take just a couple minutes. It's like nothing ever happened. It's all hooked up. Well, except for one wire. I stopped to run another one from my trailer brake controller, but when we go to install that, I'll add that wire later. But I have the power, which I'm going to put a fuse box back here, and this will terminate there, and that'll be fused. And so if something happens back at the trailer or any of the connections I have, which are all pretty sealed off, nice and tight. Um, it'll blow the fuse rather than burn the car down. Um, yeah, so I just got all this back together. I mean, that little bundle of wires on there, that's actually for the backup camera signal or um, video signal. I'm going to do that later, but everything else is kind of tucked away. Um, that, you see the little wires down there for the trailer stuff. Um, that I'm going to leave open because uh, there's enough room to add stuff through there and I still have to add the trailer brake controller wire which is going to um, should be a yellow one with a white stripe I think that's right yeah should be right that'll be our connection for the trailer brake controller so yeah that's uh that's gonna be a wrap okay I fixed it trimmed this moved it over and now it's clear on both sides, we're good to go. So, now I'm gonna put this in, switch the ball around, and I'm gonna go hook it up to the, tra the trailer. See how this goes.